Hey there, Cancer. It's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go on head to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you may also simply follow those links down below. Now, I do want to mention, yes, a shaving mishap brought me back to last year's look, even though I'm turning 35 on Friday the 11th, so that was an interesting synchronicity. And the reason I say synchronicity now, when I didn't think so at the time, uh, was that it actually had to do with me honoring something I should have been doing, uh, you know, at the beginning of this year when I got the call to do so. Those of you who've been watching me for more than two months uh, have probably heard me remark about how it, it became a considerable strain to constantly break my flow to go up and down, compartmentalizing, car compartmentalizing cards and, you know, just going, 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 you know, up and down, up and down in the general horoscopes uh, for YouTube. It's different than a personal reading. Personal readings, though, in general, YouTube stuff, of course, are night and day. You all know that. But what I'm doing here now is going to, is more like the incoming waves, you know, where I'm just basically charging, programming, and blessing the cards and letting them all go down in no particular order and no particular emphasis or position and letting the flow happen. I write the flow, you know, into my, uh, in, into my journal here, and then I share my findings with you. So this is going to apply to all areas of your life in some fashion or another. And so pay attention to that, okay? So what's going on when it comes to this week for you Cancerian people? This, these cards for this week were the Page of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Cups upright, the Five of Pentacles upright, and the Page of Swords reversed. And so what I have written here is shaky or otherwise faulty, risky business will start to reveal the inherent natures within and allow for opportunities to escape before it's too late. It may be that one had begun to sink our, their energies into a manifestation or a work in progress for either the wrong reasons or by the wrong means or connections. And so this is a time where a lot of you Cancerian people are getting a chance to catch something early and get out of Dodge. At a certain point in this realization, something that may have been ultimate, unfairly judged, excuse me, something that may have been unfairly judged or prematurely dismissed, or maybe just even skipped over, you know, now is going to reveal itself to be more promising than it appeared at the time. So we're, we're getting a chance to kind of jump from, you know, we, we might have committed to maybe a certain project, or again, this could be something going on in your personal life. This could be something, you know, we, where we may have accidentally chosen something for how it looked or how it appeared or how it may have appealed to maybe a part of ourselves that we're working on versus its truth. And so now something that we may be, uh, again, prematurely dismissed or unfairly judged is coming back for a second try um, and reconsider, right, what may have been overlooked here or hidden due to maybe too much focus on what was already happening or too much focus that might have led to a bit of tunnel vision because you're getting an out, right? You're getting an out. You're getting a chance to still have it. You're getting a chance to still do uh, with this thing what it is coming into your life for. So it's not necessarily that we have to, uh, you know, ignore it or dismiss it once again, but we also have to take a better look at whatever is presenting, right? A lot of things that have been prematurely judged or dismissed, we need to take harder looks at. Uh, what you may wish to choose instead here is available for reconsideration. So if, you know, if we're already kind of catching something before it starts to go south, we're starting to see something that is, yeah, uh, starting to show itself be shaky or shady or risky. We wish we had another alternative. That alternative is presenting, but it's something that maybe we, we didn't give enough attention to. Uh, what you may wish to, you, you chose instead will be available for reconsideration. And if not still, a comparable and equally promising venture will be also showing up. So even if for some reason, you know, the, the thing from the past that we kind of overlooked is gone, something that is very much the same, if not the same in and of itself, um, will also be presenting to, not necessarily as a test, but as an opportunity 
for you to choose that over what you have already accidentally maybe gotten too close to committing to. And take this escape, take these ways out, right? We don't judge things based on appearances. We don't judge things based on how good it might be at pushing our buttons or, or tantalizing. We have to pay attention to the mirages this week because we may find that we have a chance to reverse a decision uh, to follow a mirage and get with something that is actually going to be serving us instead. So that's what I've got for you Cancerian people. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.